This is part of an analysis of some image data from a drug discovery effort. The image was cleaned up and then used to calculate a signal to noise ratio. Identifying markers and titles have been removed. The goal is to measure hotspots on the sample versus hotspots which are background noise. In this case, the effect is considered real if the signal to noise ratio exceeds 10. In the MATLAB processing, the image is first cleaned up a bit and then a Fourier transform is used to create a mask which can select either the sample in the image or the background for the purpose of counting hotspots. Finally, it is assumed that a perfect filter for the background noise exists and a synthetic image, which might be the result of such a filter, is produced. Here is a histogram of the raw image. What leaps out here is a saturation in the blue color plane. All three planes were adjusted. The color adjusted image is shown in the first panel. Now a low pass filter of the Fourier transform of the image will be used to select the sample from the rest of the image. The sample mask is made by taking a two dimensional Fourier transform of the image, low pass filtering, and then inverse Fourier transform. The mask is then eroded to eliminate small islands and filled in. This mask can now be used to remove the sample from the image, leaving only a haze and the desired hot spots. Clipping is used to remove the haze, and then the hot spots are counted. The same mask is also used to abstract the sample from the image, and then clipping yields its hot spots. Now the mask can be used to create a synthetic image in which the color corrected sample is combined with hot spots only from the sample region. Also, hot spots are randomly removed to reflect the way in which a perfect filter would remove noise from the sample if such a perfect filter could actually be constructed. The calculated signal to noise ratio is greater than 10. By the criterion of the project, the effect is real. The specific nature of the project and the precise calculations have been left out for intellectual property reasons. The selection of the algorithm, the MATLAB coding, and the tweaking of the parameters took up my spare time for about two weeks. The unoptimized code runs in about three seconds per image.